What's going on YouTube? Heart Media, T Heart here, back with another video, another tech review. If you've been hanging with me and watching my last few videos, first of all, let me say this. For those who've watched, commented, asked questions, I want you to know I really appreciate it helping me get my channel going and being interactive. And if you notice, I respond as quick as possible because that's how I would like to be treated. So if you send me a question or a comment that re warrants a reply, I'm going to reply. So now I have a whole Bluetooth shootout. I'm on the hunt to try to find a replacement for my Bose Sound Sport, which is my favorite. I love them still. But now we've done the Bose Quiet Comfort. Didn't like those, returned them. So then I bought the Sony 1000s, got those. And then I said, well, let's get the Bose Sport, try those. So this is going to be a big review. I'm going to try to run through it quick. Um, I don't want to make a video too long. So I'm going to try to get all my information out, what I think, how I feel in a decent amount of time. And yes, I still have the box for my sound sport free. I feel like all techies keep the boxes for good stuff. So yes, I still have my box. Put that to the side seen any of my past videos you know about these so i'm not going to talk on them too much but they are in the competition with these because these are the ones that they're trying to beat to replace with that being said let's get into it go to these two here let's move that back a little bit so now you got the uh the bose sport versus the Sony 1000s. And this is a, uh, first of all, it's real difficult when you're trying to review Bluetooth for someone else, because you take your personal preference into it. Somebody else may have different preferences that they want out of a Bluetooth. So I try to mention everything possible that a person may want, and then talk about what I want out of an earbud. So first, I'm going to start with the Sonys. I'm going to hold off on these. I'm going to start with the Sonys. Let me get my little notes here because I had a lot of information that I want to talk about. Okay, first thing with these Sonys that I noticed, um, they have this robotic computerized sound that comes up every so often. It's kind of like a, um, I don't even know how to call it, but robotic computerized. You may, if you look, you remember those old videos where you have the um, robot sound, like, you know, 10, 9, 8, you know, like that. 7. They get this sound sometime. And the only way to fix it, if you're on a call, is to disconnect the Bluetooth this Bluetooth and then reconnect it. Sometimes it'll stop it. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times before it actually stops. That I do not like. And that happens more often than I would like it to. Uh, in the meanwhile, while that's going on, the person that, that you're talking to has no idea about it. And they're like, hello, you there? Hello, hello. You're trying to get your Bluetooth situated. So um, not sure why that happens, but it happens quite a lot with these uh with these songs uh next is the sound quality the sound quality in these is okay um if you've never heard a, a, a bose bluetooth or even the old uh, uh sound sports then these might sound okay to you if you've never experienced what a better sounding bluetooth sounds like you wouldn't have any problem with the sound quality with these if you've never heard better. Um, but the sound quality is decent. Bass is pretty much, I wanna say null and void cause I'm used to Bose, but it's there, but it's very light, very minimal. If you're more into the flat sound of your music, where you don't really care about highs and mids and lows, you just kinda want it to sound, you know, play the music, then these, are, these will work for you. But if you're an audiophile, no, you're gonna you're gonna hate these uh, because the sound quality is 
you know, borderline terrible, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, keep moving. So when you want to call up your assistant, whether you have Google or Siri, on these, you have to press the sensor and hold it, say what you're, you know, what you want, and then release it. And then it, it cues up your assistant. So say, for example, you want to call, you know, Mike. You have it in your ear, you press it, hold it, uh, call Mike, let go. And then it will call. Uh, good thing about these on that note, these are... Google is integrated, which I'm using Google. I'm not sure about Siri, but it's integrated into uh, the Bluetooth. So you can actually work your assistant through these earbuds. I, I noticed people are like, well, what does that mean? So if you get a text message, you can have it read your text message. You can have it tell you the time. You can have it tell you your calendar. You can have it tell, it, tell you your reminders, which with Google, you could do that on anything as long as you can queue it up but it's integrated into these another thing i like about these is the voice that's on them the voice on these on these bluetooth is real natural sounding it sounds more like a person more so than a computer generated voice which is which i like that uh it, it sounds real good to me I, I like the voice that's on here so that's a plus for these i know i'm running through a lot of cons but i'm gonna get some plus too uh, another thing, the magnets in these are very strong. It's a real strong magnet in here. So when you put these in here, I mean, they click in there pretty good. And so even if you turn them upside down, they're not coming out of there. Which is a good thing if you're not careful with your stuff. You could easily lose them, but the magnets in here are very powerful. Which I may have a problem with that, which I'll mention later. Uh, so even when you get them close to where they're supposed to go, it kind of snatches it out of your hand and just pulls it in there, which is good, you know. Um, also, when you get in the comfort, I've noticed that these make my ear itch. <laughs> I know that's weird, but after I have them on for a while, I notice I have to pull it out and kind of scratch my ear. It, it makes my ear itch. Uh, so I have to randomly take it out, you know, kind of scratch my ear, put it back in. Never had that with any of the bowls. So that's lets me know it's not the most comfortable to me. Uh, the, also, if you watch my old video, videos, you know I'm a big person about having a mute on the earbud. These has no way to mute on the earbud, which I, I, I don't like. Uh, one of the main issues I have with these, they randomly disconnect and reconnect while you're on a phone call. You won't know that it disconnected because it'll just do it. And then all of a sudden you're here, uh, you know, connecting to whatever your phone is named, all of a sudden. Then it connects, boom. You're talking, to the, then the person's like, oh, what happened, it got quiet. Oh, my Bluetooth disconnected. And a minute later, it do it again. It just does it randomly at random times. I'm not sure why. Um, but to me, that's poor connection. And it does it more often than I would like. So uh, that's a problem. Uh, good thing, you can charge it for 10 minutes and get a 90-minute use out of them. I charge it 10 minutes in this case and get a 90-minute use, which is good. I've noticed I got about seven to eight hours out of them straight. So if I put them on in the morning, keep them in, uh, you know, in my ear or on me, I can pretty much get a full work day out of them, eight, nine hours uh, out of them. And that's what, you know, taking phone calls, watching YouTube videos, listening to some music every so often. And um, they go pretty much a full work day. That's if your work day ends in eight or nine hours. If you a 10 or 12 hour work day, they're not going to make it. Also, they are not um, water resistant. Um, they can probably handle a little sweat. That's just my opinion, my assumption. No stats or scientific uh, research on that, but a little sweat, they can probably handle it. But 
submerged in water no no go so in the result for these 1000s they are being returned um, mainly for the random disconnects uh, the, the robotic sound that happens often and, uh, and sometimes like I say when it gets a robotic sound you have to disconnect reconnect stop listen stop reconnect disconnect during that whole time you don't know what the person on the phone is talking about because you can't hear them so for, for those reasons these are definitely being returned oh I'm, 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 let me mention the noise canceling which I saw that the noise canceling works on here like I say I'm not really looking for noise canceling uh, it's not one of my requirements for a earbud uh, it does work it's it it's more it definitely can't compete with the Bose quiet comfort noise cancellation not even close because you can it, on the cancellation on here it sounds more like I don't even know how to explain it. it if you could turn the volume down on the outside world that's kind of what it sounds like so you can still hear it but it's like at a low volume if that makes sense on the Bose at the max level I mean you're you're dead to the world you, you can't hear anything outside if that's the kind of noise cancellation you want on these it's more of a low muted outside world cancellation so maybe that's what they should call it low outside world volume cancellation <laughs> anyway so that's those now bowls the bowls sport as you know I'm a huge bowls fan earbud wise um, just like the quiet comforts I really wanted these to be outstanding and be my new go-to's but that's not going to happen these bowls have given me a lot of problems but not from day one on day one they worked great uh, when I talk to people I got compliments said, man I could really hear you real good your voice is very clear I was like okay okay these bowls might work these might be the ones but shortly after that I could talk to people or you know say something to somebody I'm talking to on the phone and they wouldn't respond and I'm like uh, did you hear me they said no I didn't hear you say anything then I'll say it again they wouldn't respond then I'll say did you hear me I said no I didn't hear you say nothing so randomly all of a sudden people couldn't hear me and they would say all I hear is quiet on your end and then I would talk then they would hear me for a second then they'd say I heard you say half of the sentence of what I said but I didn't hear the rest and that started happening all of a sudden but after thinking about it because I put these in my backpack and they pretty much sit in there you know about like this or you know like this and I think what happened it's my assumption I think the magnet in here affected these that's what I think because like I said this magnet is real strong in here and I think somehow it affected these bowls so these the Sony's are definitely getting returned I'm going to exchange these and try them again and see if that problem returns with a different set but that's my assumption and I'm gonna try it out uh, going on to the next thing also people say if they can't hear me or if they can hear me sometimes they say I sound far away from the phone you know like I had it on speaker and move the phone far away they're saying I hear you but it's like you're far away get that a lot on here too all of a sudden uh, the battery life on here they last about five or six hours and that's constantly in my ear standing in my ear from going to standby mode to use talking YouTube um, some music I, I don't really listen to music that much on my earbuds um, but I do play a little music and they'll go five to six hours uh, before they go dead one more thing that they do that I, I'm not a fan of they're slow to connect when you don't have them already on so say you know you're getting a call you pick up you know you open the case grab one put it in it it takes to, to me it takes a good three to four seconds before it picks up I'm not sure why it's not instant uh, definitely not not like these or not like the quiet comforts 
or even the Sony's. The Sony's, when, when you do that, it connects and it's talking, but you can hear the person in the background. You can start your conversation while it's still, you know, connecting. So they connect quick and they'll tell you your battery life and blah, 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 blah. But you you can talk to the person over the earbud talking to you, which I do like that feature. But these are slow to connect. It takes it a good, I'm going to say three, four seconds before it connects. When you get an incoming call, if they're in this position, you take them out the case, the call ringing, put them in. They have to recognize your ear, then they connect, then they turn on, and then they say, you know, the battery percentage. And then it connects where you can hear the person. Three to four seconds. So, so sometimes you would miss a call due to that and have to call the person back. I've noticed that a lot with these. Don't like that. Keep going. Um, of course, these don't have a mute, which is a big headache for me. Uh, I really want my earbuds to have a mute. That's just a, an important requirement to me. Also, on these, a 15 minute charge will give you a two hour use. So if they're dead, put them in here 15 minutes, you can talk two hours on them. It's pretty good. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to return them. I'm going to exchange them. And the, okay, sound quality. Sound quality. Bose, to me, my opinion, has it down pat. Now, a lot of people think that Bose. Uh, sound quality is too too much this, too much bass, too much this, too much mid, too much high. But the sound quality on the on these is equivalent, slightly better than these, in my opinion. More so with both of them on. Uh, they got a decent amount of bass, but compared to the quiet comforts, these have a little bit less bass, but they're more. They have more clarity than the uh, quiet comforts. The quiet comforts to me sounded kind of flat on the mids and highs, but very heavy on the bass. Uh, and that's a sound that I don't like. I prefer uh, clarity over heavy bass. I like bass, but I want to hear clarity on the highs and mids, quality on the lows. So to me, these have an overall better sound due to that. You have clarity and a decent amount of bass. So in my opinion, that makes these better on the sound quality. Um, that's just what I prefer. Uh, even with one earbud, they still sound pretty decent, but when you put both of them on and get the stereo sound, they sound very, very, very good. Only slightly less than the quiet comforts uh, but the quiet comforts are huge compared to uh, to these, so of course you should you get more bass from those quiet comforts than you will from these uh, little small sports. But the sound quality is still very good. And um, that is it on these two. Uh, so in my opinion, out of these three earbuds. Which one would be the best? You know, that's a tricky question. A lot of people always ask me, well, what do you think is the best? Which one is the best? The best is going to come down to personal preference. I mean, that, that's just the truth in my opinion. But again, me, my opinion, overall, what I like, still the best to me is these. Because you can control everything. All these uh, touch um, touch button uh, earbuds, it takes away the control you have from them. You know, you have to have both on to control your music. Because your left one is uh, next track, previous track, and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have it on, you can't control it. Um, I've said it before and i said it again, the lack of having a button cuts down on the control you have over your earbud. Which on these, which you had the three buttons, you have full control. Volume up and down, power. On these, you can't even turn it down from the earbud. You have to use your phone. Same with these. 
you have no volume control on the earbud. I would, me personally, and I keep saying it because I'm going between what I would, what I want, and what somebody else may or may not want. Me personally, I would rather have a earbud that I can control versus noise cancellation. Noise cancellation is not important to me. So if noise cancellation is important to you, again, like I said, these aren't on eating. They're not in the running. If noise cancellation is important to you, you don't want these either because they don't have it. Uh, what they do have, which I've heard people complain about, is that you can hear your background with these on. You're supposed to be able to hear your background with these on. That's the purpose of them. That's the way they're built. If you had an earbud that you put in your ear and it doesn't have noise cancellation and it blocks out the outside sound, you've basically blocked your ear. That would be annoying after a while. To me, those uh, Jabra 65Ts did that and I didn't like them. I immediately took those back. I mean, I bought them, came home, put them on, heard it block my ear and I turned around and took them back same day. I don't like that. If you were to put your finger up against your ear and press it closed, that's the, who wants that sound all day where you can hear your heart beating and hear your breath, you know, <laughs> hear you breathing and hear your footsteps. You don't want that. So of course you want your sound to come through your ear. So these, are, I'm going to exchange them because I think these magnets may have messed them up. So I'm going to exchange them and try them again. Uh, I may or may not make a quick video on that to, to let you know if it uh, fixed the problem or not. But so right now, Sony's no good in my opinion. They're going back. Still ranked number one in my opinion due to overall uh, control. Um, and I currently I'm trying to find another set, which I can find them online. Um, but I'm surprised Best Buy has them, but they never have them in the store. They have a slot for them in the, the display case, but it's empty. And when I ask them, they don't have them in stock and they're, and they have them on sale for 150. So that's why I keep trying to buy them from there. I can find them online for 199, which I think is ridiculous, but so that's the end of this video. I want to say that my co-worker keeps getting me telling me to try the airpods pro which i just may give in and try them even though it goes against my nature but at this point um i may try those airpod pros just to see i watched floss he was talking about his number ones are the sennheisers which i've had a pair of those i might try those in my hunt for uh another bluetooth and, but I think those are even more expensive than the quiet comforts, if I'm not mistaken. But man, this Bluetooth hunt is really getting difficult. I didn't think it would be this hard to find a replacement or for the Sound Sport Freeze, but it has definitely been a challenge. Um, and that's to me human nature. When you find when you find something you like. The replacement for it is going to be very difficult to find because not, a lot of things aren't going to have the functions or features that these have, especially when you take away buttons. That's just what I'm finding out. Everybody who watched my last video, the Bose versus Bose, who's been watching and commenting and replying and liking, I want to say thank you. I'm, I'm really trying to get this channel going and I appreciate the views, I appreciate the comments, I appreciate all of it. So those who've watched and participated, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. So until next time, this is T-Hart, Hart Media. Stay safe.